I'm from Lithuania. Uh, this is part of Europe, and uh, I saw on, the, on this uh, map. Uh, so I'm representing the the highest level. I mean, the, the high level of, of peaceful country. So this, um, and um, my name is Vito Tasiosa Paitis. So it sounds like Lithuanian. So okay. I'll try to, to, to make it in two minutes, starting from now. Um, as I welcome um, the participants of this uh, conference, I would like to convey my best respect on behalf of the Parliament of the Republic of Lithuania and the entire culture and educational community of Lithuania for the people of goodwill who have devoted their lives to guarding the world peace. I have to say, before I became, uh, became a, a member of the parliament, I was a professor at the Music Academy. Also, I was a professional opera singer. So I'm culture and education and politics in one. First and foremost, it is one of uh, paramount importance um, uh, for all of us who are united by the common goal to agree that peace is a virtue rather than the absence of war or uh, respect between battles. It is the key components of culture, education, science, arts, and religion that our perception of virtue is based on. Peace is directly dependent on the nurturing and sincere profession on those vital components. It is for this simple reason that Lithuania pursues to make culture a priority in all possible areas of life. On the basis of the supreme values, we make every effort to promote the spirit of understanding, tolerance, and peaceful coexistence among all people, and to create the future of culture, because culture constitutes the basis of peace. Lithuania, which has been among the most active defenders of the concept of peace as the synonym of morality, has given an impetus for an international movement for the World Day of Culture uh, that currently unites NGOs and public institutions of over 30 countries globally. Uh, the actions and words of which are a testament to the importance of education and culture in implementing peace, which is the fundamental link uniting the mankind. I therefore invite all people of goodwill around the world to make use the system of systems of education and culture and to never cease, not even for a moment, to keep faith, patience and hope and to promote peace in the concept of morality in their home countries and around the world. Thank you for your kind attention.